everyone, it's Kimber Schaefer here at Kickapoo Casino in Hera. The site for Rage in the Cage 48 is going down September 24th, and we couldn't be more excited. Main event right here, Levi Queen for a title defense. I mean, come on, Levi, you are on a five fight win streak. So how as important is it to you to not only retain your title, but get six in a row? It's real important for my future and uh, everything. If I, if I want to keep moving forward, I'm going to have to keep stacking up wins in impressive style. And I'm just going to keep grinding and that's what I'm going to do. I mean, he said it, impressive style, keep ground, uh, keep grinding. Your last fight for Rage in the Cage, which was just last month, um, I mean, that was impressive. A veteran, a huge veteran, very well-known, Rocky Johnson. I mean, you stopped him in, I think it was less than a minute in the first round. Is that right? Minute 45 or so. And he's never been stopped by the way I stopped him neither. So that kind of like was kudos. So I was happy about that. Well, and I tell you, going into that fight, you got a lot of positive press. I mean, MMA Mania did a flattering article on you talking about you and your career. And, I mean, they basically said you had a shot at the UFC, just stack up another couple of wins. So how important was it for you to not only win that night, but secondly, I mean, did that really just kind of give you the um, motivation to keep going? It was a huge boost. I mean... To have people talk about you from out of out of outside the state, I mean, talk about momentum. And uh, I'm just going to keep going with it, and hopefully we'll get more and more, and then next thing you know, I'll be cashing UFC checks. <laughs> Y'all be watching me on pay-per-view. You know, and that's what our goal is here at Rage in the Cage is, get you know, just to give you the um, fighting ground and the, the, the place to come up and, and get you to the UFC. We're going to miss you once you get there. But what is your game plan? I mean, you know now there are people talking nationally and even worldwide about you and about your chances of getting to the UFC. So what's the game plan for you and Matt to get you there? We're just going to take one fight at a time, keep knocking people out in impressive style and We'll send our videos and we'll fight, I mean, Legacy, Bellator, and then we'll win there. And then if you keep winning, they got to sign you sometimes. So that's our goal right there. Just keep winning and stay focused. You know, and I love it that you're fighting in your hometown because, I mean, you have such a large crowd and a large following anyways. But when you fight here in Hera, I mean, that just – the, the audience and the people screaming for you, I mean, it has to really just give you that boost. Yeah, my fans are amazing. I really appreciate my fans. They, uh, they're they probably the loudest around. I know they are. Uh, when they start chanting my name, it's just, I mean, that much more. I, I'm getting cold chills right now talking about it. And, and then you want to talk about hearing your name by the whole crowd chanting. and it, you're, You'll finish people. You'll knock them out for sure. So, uh Y'all keep on coming, and uh, I'll keep on doing the knockouts and making them bloody. So, I love it. There's a lot of amateur fighters that look at you, Levi, and they look up to you because you do bring such a huge fan support. I know a lot of that probably is coming from a small town. I live in a small town myself, and um, a lot of that helps. But, you know, what advice um, would you give people? Because you know as well as I, getting onto the UFC card, likability and having a fan club, being able to sell tickets, all of that is just as important, maybe not just, but pretty important when it comes to um, getting to the UFC. So what advice do you have to get, to get that fan club? Uh, first off, have a good smile. Always be happy and uh, train hard. That's a key. Most people try to just get in there and, and fist fight. I mean, you got to train for this stuff. You can't, I mean, it's hard just to get in there. You'll be out of breath, get tapped out real quick or knocked out. So, I mean, just train hard and find you a good gym. And then keep, like, you can go around to other gyms too, but find you a good home base. I. And I found that in R1, and I mean, I've been there solid now for two years, and I mean, I was three and two when I started going there, and now I'm ten and three. So that just shows you. So right there. So, and all the guys at R1 are killers, and I appreciate them. Love you guys. And uh, but uh, yeah, just find you a good gym, and and you'll find success. 
basically, you have to take all aspects of the fight game serious. You can't just focus on one aspect. I mean, you really got to be well-rounded in, in being able to market yourself as well as being able to be a powerful fighter and getting in the gym. And how do you do all that and have a full-time job and have a new wife and all the things you've got going on? It's hard to juggle it sometimes, but I just do the best I can. And uh, and it, it's kind of... It's, our gym works out. I mean, most gyms, you know, the, they start later at night, you know, 6 p.m. So you got time and then shoot. Most people stay up there till like 10 p.m. So there's no really no excuse not to get in there and get training in. So But I was actually going to ask you, too, about your fight coming up September 24th. I mean, do you have a game plan going into this? What are you looking forward to most? Uh, I'm looking forward to putting them on the cage, beating them up, you know, using my elbows and my knees and, uh, and if it gets hairy, I'll just take them down. That's what I usually do. And I plan on putting on a good show, so it's not going to get hairy, I promise. <laughs> it's always good when Levi Queen is in the house, guys. So come on out. Don't miss it. September 24th here at Kickapoo Casino in Hera. Hey, and I don't want to forget, do you have any sponsors or any shout-outs? Uh, yes, I'd like to give a shout-out to Queen Brothers Pipe Straightening, all the guys at R1 MMA that helped me get pre prepared for my fights, uh, Dr. Magnuson's Plastic Surgery, and that's it. All right. Guys, come see us. September 24th, Kickapoo Casino here in Hera, Rage in the Cage 48. You can get tickets from Levi if he's got any left. You can get tickets from any of the other fighters on the card, Ticketstorm.com, or right here at Kickapoo Casino in Hera, and we'll see you there. Let's rage it up, guys.